I'm set up in Union Parish. I ran down here to do a pretty quick lot. It's uh, 3.30, December the 5th, 2019. Um, I'm probably gonna shoot a, you know, three and a half year old buck or a doe this afternoon. in November. So I'm just on the old uh, pine thicket of course. I got four lanes I'm looking at and I got corn out in front of me in this lane. In front of me and that corn's been there for about three weeks. And there's still something there. Just tells me they're on acres, which I knew they would be, but I figured that corn would be gone by now. So, hopefully if I see one, it'll give me enough time to get a shot. And they're going to get it on film, too. So, anyway, I'm going to shut up and sit back. See what happens. It's, uh, it's probably, I don't know, 60 degrees. Southeast wind. Is swirling though. Southeast wind is, is decent for here. It's not great, but they can come from anywhere here in a pine thicket. But Him or not. Dang it. That happened fast. Dog gone. I just got in the stand doing my interview. And he comes out. Son of a gun. If I had to stop him, he was supposed to go in the woods. I didn't want to take that shot. not 
not smell like guts. I didn't find any guts. I know I shot the deer back some because that's the only shot I had. I don't think it was a bad shot. Do I think I hit a lung? Possibly. It didn't look like lung blood at the time. Maybe. Maybe liver. Theoretically, I need to give that deer about six to ten hours. But I gotta work tomorrow at the fire station. Anyway, I reviewed the footage, and um, as far as I can tell, the shot was mid-body. And the deer was angling to me as best I can remember and tell on footage. It all happened so fast, I didn't even, if the camera was not on while I was doing my interview, I don't think I'd have got it on film. So, I might uh, get down, I don't have service on my cell phone. I'm waiting on a doe right now. I need to give that deer time regardless. I'm not gonna go tromping in there right now. I just, I'm just not, it's not worth it. <clears throat> so we're about to uh, try to go see. So we're about to go try to see if we can find the deer. Uh, shot this deer about eight hours ago. So we gave him plenty of time to lay. Found some decent blood. Uh, I just made about five steps in the woods, and uh, I was second guessing my so shot, so I just backed out. So we're gonna go take Kirby in there and see if we can get on it and go from there. Hopefully he's uh, hopefully he laid down and uh, and uh, bled out not too far from where we shot him. So we're gonna get on him. We're gonna get on him, Kirby. Oh, yes, son. Body on that joker. Oh, yeah. You see? What? Awesome. Look at that. Dude, I was thinking the shot was back here. Yep. You can definitely tell the uh, camera angle is a little different. What you got, man? Well, here he is. Oh, uh, not a bad six point, 14 inches wide, 20 inch beams. Oh, uh, 160 pounds with no guts. So, um, uh, the reason I let this deer lay so long, I gave him eight hours. We found some blood, it was dark, and I was thinking it was a liver hit, which some of it was. There's the entrance somewhere in here, right there. Mm -hmm. Alright. And my exit is right here. So obviously he didn't bleed a whole lot uh when we, we gutted him, hit the back side of his uh both lungs and just disintegrated his liver. So uh the deer didn't make it probably eighty yards, something like that. And uh, Kirby did a good job tracking him. There wasn't, uh, I couldn't see any uh, blood visibly whenever he was tracking it and just went right up on him. But uh, I, I don't even think this deer uh, made any beds at all. He just ran out there and crashed. So anytime that you think uh, you're in doubt of your shot, in which I was, just it's, it's best just to back out. Here it is, one o'clock in the morning, and we're out here, you know, recovering deer. 
and the reason why we didn't wait till tomorrow is uh because it's supposed to rain tonight and we was also worried about the temperature about the meat you know so here he is i've said it a million times you put the work in you're gonna get you're gonna get rewarded